Yo, what's up people? It's your boy P, also known as Captain P67 from Twitch. I'm back at it with another God Builds video for you. Um, I did want to cover this a little bit earlier, but I think it's the perfect time to cover it. Uh, we are covering a newer weapon that's kind of not been used or shown as of yet properly, uh, which is the da -da 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 -da, the new Rajang Demon Lance. So it's called the Great Demon Lance. Very, 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 very strong. It's the strongest base lance in the whole game. So it's based at 713 attack. Does come with blue sharpness, quite a big chunk, it's pretty decent. Uh, affinity is negative 15, which isn't too bad. It's got thunder 130, I've added um, some augments to it. And it comes with a massive gem slot, so it's come with a 4 gem slot. I've added health regen, element, status effect. Oh, you can have an affinity to kind of negate that affinity that has a negative. But I've gone for a bit more thunder power for obviously those thunder weak, uh, weakness monsters. So, it does come with a um, four gem slot, like I said. So I've added this in there. However, I will show you the build and what it's capable of. So this is another true god build video for you. And without further ado, this is what we're looking at. We've got crit eye level seven, attack boost six, guard five, crit boost three, weakness exploit three, agitator two, offensive guard, handicraft in there to get that white sharpness as it was on blue. So it slightly changed a variant of my one of my other god builds. And it's got Resuscitate in there, Mushroom Manta. Now, the reason why I've got this in there, um, I've got it under the Attack Gem. So it's Attack Gem plus Mushroom Manta. Now, you can take a Toadstool. When you fight me with the Lance, as everybody knows, sometimes you can get knocked over. It does take a second or so to, uh, second or, second or so to sheath, obviously, and unsheath. And obviously, in that time, you can get carted. So when you do take a Toadstool, any kind of yellow damage you get, or if you take any damage, you'll see a bit of a yellow bar, which will naturally go back up slowly but with the toadstool it'll actually go up a lot quicker so add that with the health regen you're kind of always looking in the green your health always looking healthy it does stop you from carting quite a lot i just did a rune and a gigante speed run which is kind of a casual speed run wasn't too serious with a slightly weaker build of this build so this was done after that but i did 9 minutes 52 rune and a gigante um no clutch claws involved literally just lance 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 attack we survived quite a lot of attacks as well but I did beat the shit out of him, and it was 9 minutes 52, Rune and Gante with the Lance, on Elder's Recess, and I'll link the video in the comments below as well, so you can check that out, but uh, this is a newer build to that, so this is slightly stronger than that build even, so I will do a rerun, I'll take it a bit more serious, I didn't take a whetstone or anything, I just, like I said, it was a casual speedrun, just wanted to see what it was like, and how quick I could do with a casual speedrun, which is 9.52, which is definitely a good speedrun against Rune and Gigante with the Lance solo, so definitely a great time, we got Divine Blessing including as well. We got Affinity Slide and you do slide a lot with the kind of Lance. And because this is a negative crit kind of weapon, you want as much crit as you can get, even off base or non-base. And then we got Guard up in there. Ignore the rest of the bits in there because that's based on the actual mantles which I mixed and match with other sets as well. So I always go off the base stats, never go off what my mantles give me because those aren't always going to be on your build consecutively. And we've also added Rajang's Rage which gives us two Mind's Eye and Ballistics included as well. So in the set itself, Mind's Eye and will be included for you. So that will cover everything for you. So when we do actually add on everything on my build, that will give you 789 base attack, white sharpness with a good few hits, affinity is 30%, so it's plus affinity now, and it gives you 150 thunder elements on top. So without further ado, I'm going to show the actual build itself. I'll be able to show you the full build. Let's drop you a bit of magic. So mix this up for you so here we go so there you have it uh, what you're gonna go for is fungal form attack jewel 4 so the top gem slot that goes in the lance itself you got golden headdress beta which can you can add guardian expert jewel 4 you can add attack jewel 1 in there We've got a Kyrian Jacket Beta, we've added an Expert Jewel 4 in there, a Critical Jewel 2. A Ruinous Van Braces Beta, with Slider, Handicraft Jewel 4, Attack Jewel 1. Golden OB Beta, which gives you Guide and Attack Jewel 4. And a Critical Jewel 2, which gives you that Critical Boost. We've added Karuga Greaves Beta, which gives you Crisis, Attack Jewel 4. A Shield Jewel and a Critical Jewel in there. Now, if you're going off what the actual pieces give you, put me over here real quick. So, 
So golden headdress beta will give you weakness exploit too with a large well four point gem slot and a one gem slot. The Kirin jacket will give you critical eye two and divine blessing. It'll give you four gem slot and a two gem slot. The Runas and Braces beta will give you a four gem slot and a one gem slot with agitator two and attack boost. The golden OB beta will give you weakness exploit one, a four gem slot and a three gem slot. And the Gruga Grease Beta will give you Critical Eye 2 plus a 4 gem slot, a 2 gem slot, and a 2 gem slot. So it's one of the better pieces in the whole game. And without further ado, I'm just going to quickly head over to the training area and you'll kind of see what it's capable of and what it can do. And I'll just show you some of the crit numbers. And again, these are the numbers based on no buffs added. So these are your base numbers to start off with. So if you have your, obviously your Might Seed, you can take your Demon Powder, Demon Drug, Attack Up Large, you can make your. Power is a lot stronger. But once we load in, I will just show you a couple of the numbers, what kind of numbers you'll be looking at realistically. So if we go off the weaker triangle attacks first, 105, 105, 141. If we go off the higher attacks, 116, 116, 102. So 184, 84, 84, 102. 116, 75, 92. So all based off your crit hits. 104, 75, 127. So you do see a lot of numbers. If you're hitting those crits, the crits are important. And this is without a slide. So imagine if you was to slide, so you'd add more affinity included. So it would make you crit a lot more. But I mean, even off a base stab, you're looking at 95 on a crit. Just one triangle stab alone. If it doesn't crit, you're still looking at decent numbers. I mean, we just did 127. 95, 95, 127. Majority of the time it does crit. Even with a standard shield bash, you're doing it at 65. 46 on a weak attack. If you're going for a mega charge attack, 135. If you crit it, 187. Now, if we just quickly charge at it, we'll see if we get any different numbers. 37, 52, 52. 234. So just a normal charge and a poke with the triangle. You can get up to 234. 169. 169. Try it one more time. 169. Now if we go for the higher charge, 234 again. So if you use a circle, 234 again. And 234 again. So there you go folks. There's the new true god build video for you. So that will cover the new Rajang Great Demon Lance. Very, very strong, strongest lance in the whole game. So make sure you check out my channel on Twitch, Captain P67 on Twitch. Make sure you support my channel. The sub and donation links will be in the description below. If you've got any questions, let me know. I will be covering a lot more videos and God Build videos for you. But as I did say, and I've kept to my word, I have started actually adding some speed runs. So I've done Zinogre, Rune and Um I even done Savage Devil Joe the other day, nine minutes uh, sub something. And it was just like a casual run again. I've done that with the Blast Lance, which I showed in one of my previous videos. But every day, if I do get a newer God build, I'm always going to show the newer build, obviously, because we don't want to be stagnant. We always want to move forward. So I'm always going to bring the latest content for you. But this is the most strongest OP build you will see right now for the Lance. I have seen some other videos. Again, they go for maximum crits, but they don't have any attack boost, which doesn't make any sense. So I'm giving you four crits. I'm giving you the maximum attack. Maybe if it's one minus attack, you're losing three points. However, with Offensive Guard 2, you get extra 10 10% uh, damage and also with the agitator involved you get an extra 8 damage on top so even though you might lose 3 points on the 1 attack boost you're getting an additional 18 on top so technically you own, you're actually gaining 15 if you look at it that way if the monster does raw etc and even on worst case scenario you're looking at 10 plus regardless with defensive guard 2 on top so that is a true guard builder if you for you if you need any help let me know I do stream once on to Iceborne every day on Twitch so make sure you check out my channel support my content and thank you all for the sport, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.